Well then, Bunny, let's talk about books. You see, people always say, hey, Steve, how do you get so much done at work? To which I say, it's a combination of dangerous amounts of caffeine and a crippling fear of failure bordering on manic paranoia. Yay! People also say, hey, write what you know. And what I know is that I have been a loyal, maybe a bit too loyal if we're being honest, employee at my local bookstore for over 17 years! Yes. If if my work history were a person, then it would probably be Snapchatting nudes to all of the cute boys in school when realizing the ramification of those actions because, hey, I'm a teenager. Nothing matters. <laughs> I'm a teenager. I'm invincible. Nothing I do counts. Yes. And as such, I really do have my fingers on the pulse of the book world, and I am here to rub my fingers all over your chest with this week's remarkably unremarkable installment of Notes from the Bookstore. Dramatic music, my friend. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure. Eleanor. No. This isn't Look notes from the apple. crib. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even have a crib. She has a toddler bed. She doesn't like to sleep in. Notes from, from the toddler bed. And, <laughs> and, why did you hit me, Eleanor? <laughs> and this week's notes from the bookstore is brought to you by Holiday questions. It is a proven scientific fact that customers save their stupidest questions for the holidays. Uh huh. Do you sell Amazon.com gift cards? <laughs> Do you accept Amazon.com gift cards? Sorry, dude. Borders closed. You're well, back. Yeah, where are your Borders bestsellers? That's one that I got. Yeah. A few days ago. Oh my God, recently, serious? yeah, recently. It's like, oh, we have our Barnes, we have our our bestsellers over here, and they go, oh, see, I knew one of you went out of business. See, I ha I have a bit of a theory about this, though. No, that's how you know the only reason they're in a the bookstore is because someone that they know okay. is a reader, and they're not. Yeah. So they're trying to get a book for somebody for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever. And so they're like, oh, then they got one of them reading stores here, don't they? Yeah. And then they find whatever bookstore is around and they grasp their memory for whatever name they can remember. I'm like, oh, Borders. Yes, Borders. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got one of the business. That was Borders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's tell us your best sellers. Because they don't give a fuck. Because they don't read. Because we have uneducated Americans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what was your theory, Bonnie? But but just well, Tasha got a good part of it. Just like just like working in a call center, um, you would get the stupid. All the calls were stupid, but you would get yep. the stupidest calls when you were slow. Oh yeah, and I always imagined those were people who were hanging on the phone, and they're waiting and they're on hold. Oh, hold is only three minutes. Okay, um, no, wait, this is stupid, and they hang up. Yeah, so you don't get them so much when you're busy. These people are being forced out of their natural habitat and into a bookstore. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Bunny, this week has been hard. This week has been hard yeah. on me. This week has been hard on my calves. This week has been hard on my beautiful, delicate hands. Yeah. This past week has been busy. Lots of boxes. But, like, I, I know that the week of Black Friday is always heavy. So, l l dang. So, song. so last week, all throughout last week, I was trying to keep an eye on what my system was projecting that I was going to get this week. So on Friday, I started noticing some discrepancies in the numbers that my carton tracking system was showing me. So I thought it was odd. So I, I, I 
inform the managers that there were some weird things that might happen this week. So I used to get deliveries, my main deliveries, the freight deliveries, my main deliveries, I used to get five days a week. Then to save money, it went down for select stores. It went down to three days a week. So that made it harder because, okay, you're not going to be getting as many deliveries, but the deliveries you do get on those three days will be a lot heavier. Yeah. So then they said, okay, for the holidays this year, all of the stores are going back to five days. But then they said, okay, well, we thought about it. And so to save so some more money, each store is going to differ. So there was this big, huge chart, and you had to find your store. And that some stores were staying five days. Some stores were, were staying three days. Some stores were going to four days. So apparently for the holidays, we were supposed to be a four-day store. But we were still getting three days. And I would be sending emails and calling people like, when are we going to get our four-day deliveries? Because we're still getting three-day deliveries. And then say, okay, well, let me do some typing here and uh, look you up. And uh, yeah, you should be getting four-day deliveries. No shit. Okay. Yeah, well, of course I'm supposed to be getting four day deliveries. I'm telling you that I'm getting three day deliveries. And you're being a fucktard about it. So then, life, so then, oh, God damn it. we started getting four day deliveries. And and so it's like, okay, so we're getting four day deliveries. So that makes it a little bit easier because I'm not getting a massive amount in three days. It's, it, there's one extra day to kind of spread the amount of books I'm getting in a week. So sure. it makes it slightly easier. So then my store manager went to a store manager's conference. And when the store manager came back, she said, hey, the word from on high is that we're going to be going back to three day a week deliveries. <sighs> the moment she told me that, we started getting five day a week deliveries. Okay. We got it for like a month. And she's like, So are you getting your three day a week deliveries? Yeah, it's like, no, we're I'm getting five day a week deliveries, and I'm so confused. But to be but, but to be clear, like I've I've told this to a couple of other people, and I just want to clarify that this is less about our bad corporation and more about our bad delivery service. Okay. The delivery service is just really bad and unprofessional. And occasionally I get a, a, a person who smells like a, a porn arcade. So, <laughs> so it's less about our company being bad and more about our delivery service just sucks. So, so, so this is what happened on, I get deliveries in my three-day-a-week deliveries, I get them Monday and Tuesday and Friday. So on this past Saturday, I noticed that for this week, it was showing me that I was only getting deliveries on Monday and Friday. Uh -huh. And I thought, okay, okay, so I'm only getting two deliveries this week. Like, I understand maybe you want to get rid of one delivery day because of the holidays, but... Uh, why would I not get an, I can understand not wanting to give a delivery the day before Thanksgiving, but not the day before the day before Thanksgiving. That's a bit extreme. Like it's odd to me that I'm only getting two day a week deliveries. Yeah. And then we get an email from corporate saying, Hey, we finally did it. We've never done this before, but you're not getting a delivery on black Friday. <laughs> How because nice that's that's pretty much like a holiday for for us, and so you won't be getting a freight delivery. You'll still be getting what? Do you want me to be quiet with my podcast so that you can have some peace and quiet eating your food? How rude of me, Eleanor! <laughs> Boom. So yeah, so I, it, it, I so it. I'm I'm not getting a freight delivery on Black Friday, but I'm still getting a delivery from UPS and from FedEx and from yeah. USPS and yada, yada, yada. But my system still says that, hey, you're getting a delivery on Friday, Black Friday, you're getting 150 boxes. Uh -huh. So so it's all confusing. So then it, it, 
when I left on Saturday, my system said, hey, Monday, you're getting a lot of boxes. You're getting like a hundred and you're getting like 160 boxes on Monday. So be prepared for that, Steve. So I woke up super early on Monday and I stretched and I got like a energy drink and I was all excited to go in. And then when I came in, I checked. First thing I do, I check my box carton tracking and it says, Steve, you're actually getting uh, 200 boxes today. Okay. But I had already warned the managers. I'm like, hey, Monday's going to be heavy. My carton tracking says Monday's going to be heavy. And they're like, okay, we'll add extra people to help you, Steve. So I get there, and there's a whole bunch of people there to help me. And uh, on Monday, I got 50 boxes. Okay. And so, so you can't even you can't even trust your system. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. I can't even trust my system. So I, so I tell the store manager this, and she's like, "Yeah, that's crazy. You're gonna have to call th- our uh, company's helpline." So I call the helpline, and I get some. No offense, some New Jersey chick. Uh huh. And I'm like, uh, "Hi, my name is Steve. I'm the receiving manager of store. Yada yada yada." in oklahoma and my carton tracking said i was supposed to get 200 boxes instead i got about 50 so i'm missing about 150 boxes and i'm just wondering where they are can you help me with that sir sir you're not making any sense sir okay and she was yelling at me i was yelled at by a chick from new jersey yeah and she's like, what is the ISBN of the book you are missing, sir? It's like, I don't have an ISBN because I'm not missing one book. I'm missing 150 boxes of books. <laughs> Do you have the ISBN numbers of the books that were in those boxes? Well, I'm missing about 150 boxes. So if every box has 30 to 50 boxes, you're talking about a ridiculous amount of ISBN. So no, I do not have those ISBNs Mm -hmm. to give to you, ma'am. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. I'm the receiving manager and I'm just talking about the amount of boxes that I get delivered in a day. Yeah. Uh, My system said I was supposed to get 200. I got 50. And I'm just wondering where my 150 boxes are. Sir, you are not making any sense to me, sir. (laughs) <laughs> like okay well i don't think that's my problem but so eventually i'm like you know what you know what i'm just going to uh hang up now and try and find someone else to help me thank you ma'am you've been a big help and i just hung up on her yeah. and i told the store i told the store manager what happened she didn't believe me so she called the same number and uh there's just hundreds of people in like a uh, phone banks, just answering phone calls. She got the same woman. Yeah, yeah. She she got the same woman, and she was also yelled at. So, so I, apparently, we finally were we were talking to like managers and corporate people and executives, and they apologized and they said we're going to fix your carton count. So on Tuesday. They decided to uh, make up for Monday, and I got about 225 boxes. Okay. I got a ridiculous, I got a ridiculous amount of boxes the next day. Apparently, they were making it up for me. Yes. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. I'm sorry that Monday was so light for you. Yeah. Here's a day that will break your spine. So, <laughs> and and the worst part is is that. We were counting on the tracking system that we have to do the scheduling. So we added extra people on Monday, and we added no people on Tuesday when our system said we wouldn't be getting deliveries. Yeah. So anyway, it, it's been it's been a crazy week, and I've been drinking so many energy drinks. My P has been so neon <laughs> that I swear to God, the la- last time I peed, a unicorn came out. 
Like my pee has been so neon that like it's interesting to go to the bathroom and also think, do we have a black light? Because this would be amazing. It would be like a like disco pee. Yes. You know? Yes. My pee is so neon that I swear to God, uh, I, I peed out a 1980s trapper keeper. <laughs> it was incredible. I peed out the a cinematography squad. from Suicide Squad. Yes. I peed out the script of Suicide Squad. That's how neon my pee was. <laughs> it, it, but the crazy thing was was that I I I I I, I, I said I'm not going to be a victim of 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 my bad carton tracking system. I'm not going to be a victim of the corporation. I'm not going to be a victim of my bad delivery service. Yeah. So I did 198 boxes by myself on that day, on Tuesday. I'm not wow. sure how it I'm yeah. not sure how it was possible, and I'm pretty sure that was a record. In fact, I told the boss like, "Hey, I did 198 boxes by myself. Gee, I'd like to see two part-time employees do as much as I did on that day. Yeah. Still a bit bitter about my job going bye-bye. So it's been horrible. It's been a horrible week. It's been a horrible month. It's just a horrible time for me. Yeah. But I do have one bit of good news to end this part of the podcast. Um, uh, we, we, we got a win. Okay. We got, what do you we got one. We got one tiny win. Our store finally got one hundred percent on a secret shop this month. Nice. We got a hundred percent on a secret shop. So happy about that. We got one hundred percent. We did everything right. Let me tell you how we did it. We worked hard. We did what we were supposed to. We went above and beyond. We really shone. We were great at it. I just want to make sure that you all know that we got this 100% because we are so good at our jobs and not because the secret shopper was so bad at it. <laughs> just want to make, make it clear that we got 100% for the first time ever on a secret shop because we're so good and not because the woman said, thank you for helping me find this book. What's your name? I'm just going to write it down right here. And <laughs> then, Okay, thank you. And what time is it? Can you tell me the time and the date? Thank you. Uh, where's another employee? I need to ask them for a book that you don't have. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, now, where's your children's department? I have to go in there next. Well, now, if she has a customer survey or anything like that, you should go and fill it out and say she was excellent. I also want to take this time to say that at no point during the secret shop did any of our employees catch her literally filling out the secret shop form in the store. <laughs> That totally different didn't happen. I will nice. say though, I will say though that when we did get the secret shop, she literally wrote, <laughs> "Wow, service was excellent. I was helped by at least seven employees." Okay. That's just a sign of how good we are, and not a sign of how bad she was. Yes, we just got a win, <laughs> and you know what? It's a win. A win is a win. A we win is a win. a win. We deserved a win. I'm just saying you need to have her come back. Now, now something else I think you might not have thought about to huh. get this whole secret shopper thing taken over, because you said you and Tasha were doing it for a while with restaurants. So how yeah, much uh, how much were you getting paid for that? Oh, uh, you know what? Not very much, depending on the place. But <laughs> And if they needed it done immediately yeah, or uh, like a week's time. Usually you got reimbursed for the meal and yeah. then you know, like whatever the cost of the meal was and then anywhere from like five to $12. Yeah. 
I, I see, because because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, come on, these secret shopper people, they got to be bought. Well, I mean, give them 20. Not... You know, nice. That would be nice. And you get 100% each time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Emerald, yeah. you hear that? Start paying me off when I go to Bronx, bitch. Even if, <laughs> even if they're like, even if they're like super tough, super strict, secret shoppers. Fifty. I bet you could still get them for fifty. Well, you know, if they're good secret shoppers, you won't even know that they're the shopper. Yeah. Yeah. Natasha's Natasha's really good at hiding her secret shopper shopperedness. Yeah. There's cameras in one of the restaurants, and I've literally taken fucking pictures of the employees, and nobody has ever called me out. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. The secret shopper literally was taking pictures of employees' name tags. That's not a red flag or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but look, a win is a win. We got 100% on a secret shop. Good job on the win, honey. Thank you. That yes. woman Thank should you. never secret shop in her life. No, she should continue secret shopping with our store because she had oh such a good time with us. She literally wrote on the form, I was helped by at least seven employees, and I believe three of them were managers. Yes, you will. <laughs> what is this? Where so, yeah, this that's just from? a sign. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's mine. It's It's beer bread. It's <laughs> bread that was made with beer. It was given oh, to me by what? Allison. Hey, Emma, go read your brother's story. Beer bread. Okay, yes. So, so we're gonna go to Texas to go visit a brewery. No, is 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 this like a like a Sam and Dean brewery? Yes. Or just a Dean brewery? I hope so. There's it Jared Padalecki, Ackles. and then it there's an the Ackles. other one, Jensen Ackles. There you go. It is the Ackles Family Brewery. Oh my god. Jensen yes. Ackles has a name that they sounds. Have a park kids and it's animal friendly you can bring the dog oh my god need to go there jensen ackles his name sounds an awful lot like he was a member of the west memphis three <laughs> why you gotta, why you I, gotta did, I just i just i just feel like like metallica has did to go I tell you that my brain decided that since i had absolutely no reaction to jensen ackles like being this close to me at all that my brain was like, oh, guess what we're going to do? We're going to dream about making out with Jensen Ackles. And I'm like, what the f- man? That's weird. It was really weird and kind of awkward. Yeah. Because, like, but I guarantee he put me near his wife. That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dear. Emerald, go read your brother's fucking story. It ain't going to kill you. Now it's on to Black Friday. And uh, let me tell you, buddy, why I love being a receiving manager. Uh, we are about to enter into Black Friday, or as mis- receiving managers call it, Fridays. Fridays. Because okay. I don't have to deal with customers. Nice. Anymore. And it's wonderful. Nice. Oh, it's so great. It's so great. I, I do not do Black Friday. I did Black Friday once. And yep. that was and that was it for me. I never want to see that kind of chaos anywhere again. I almost got stolen out of the trunk of a car. Oh. God. I've never done Black Friday. I've, I've done Black Friday once or twice, but or as I like to call it, African American Friday. Yes. Yeah. Eleanor. She's done with a pineapple. Oh, thank you for the food, honey. And that is it for Notes from the Bookstore this week. And remember, boys and girls and gender variety packs, you too can save 10% on all of your purchases. And all you have to do is, really simple, all you have to do is just hold Bella. That's all you have to do. Just hold Bella. Just just have some sort of physical contact with Isabella. That should be easy. She's really okay with that. Trust me. <laughs> totally 100% cool with it. As long as you're crying. Yeah, as long as you're crying. No, no, no. I, I have to hold you. Yeah, it's totally fine. 
totally fine. It's totally fine. It's good. We're all good. 